for a mere two bits more, discover the truth behind the most inexplicable, preposterous, and downright egregious breaches of all that is proper and uh, fitting. Enter Frank Lentini, and, and what follows, I can say no more. Frank Lentini's many-sided performance was well worth the price of a ticket. An odd addition to this young man's body ensured he would become one of the most well-heeled of all the sideshow stars. Frank Lentini had an extra right leg. Emerging from his buttocks, the leg was, in fact, all that remained of his undeveloped twin. He was brother, in part, to what is commonly known as a parasitic twin. Parasitic twins are conjoined twins, where one of the twins has died in part, and what's left of that twin is being maintained by the other twin. Even as a nine-year-old, in 1898, Frank was determined that his twin not be a useless hanger-on, but add some value to his life. He assured his father he would educate as well as entertain. There was only one place to go. Frank joined the circus sideshow. In addition to his three legs, Frank had two sets of genitals and a thumb-sized foot growing from the back of the knee. And unlike most parasitic extremities, which can be grossly malformed, Frank's leg did have some movement. He must have had some nerves and some connection with his own main nervous system. And they had a blood supply there as well. Frank took to his mission with enthusiasm, creating tricks and gimmicks to educate the audience. His showstopper was kicking a ball across the stage using his third leg. Ready for kicking. That kick was no easy feat. So Dr. Buckman and Jay McLennan set out to show just how difficult this stunt might have been. To duplicate Frank Lantini's leg, we wanted to come up with something that we could animate later and have some action and show how he actually functioned with it. Oh! Oh, it does it. Oh, right there, it's very strong and completely pneumatic with no motors. It's just all air cylinders and valves, much like what we're going to do here with our leg experiment. With some help of some of our experts, we were able to design a leg and animate it and see how it worked. I want to start by putting this harness on the back. OK. Here. It'll wrap around you like this. It'll wrap around me like that, good. Attachment points back here. Oh, Feel good, which is exactly where Frank's leg was, at the base of the sacrum. Um, and it actually had an extra buttock around it. And we could imagine that that was covered with muscle. And it could, he could work, and he could actually kick with it. This is going to be a great experiment. Let's try it on. All right. Frank was driven to turn adversity to advantage. Those with parasitic twins were among the most popular of all sideshow stars, demonstrating how extra parts could emerge from virtually anywhere on the body. Lalou's twin was a near-complete human bursting from his chest. Myrtle Corbin's twin developed only from the waist down with duplicate sex organs, all of which function normally. At 19, she married a Tennessee doctor and started a family. She had three uh, babies delivered down one side and I think two down the other side. On one occasion, the doctor said that she was pregnant on one side and she was pretty sure no, it was the other side because that was the side that she preferred to have intercourse with. Nice to have the choice, right? Today, Parasitic twins are extremely uncommon because of prenatal screening. Given the awkward location of his shortened leg, our team may find duplicating Frank's stage act more difficult than expected. The hard part for Dr. Buckman is going to be to kick behind him when his eyes are in front of him. 
Okay, Jay, so now I'm ready to start my career as Frank Lentini, the three-legged footballer. Will you place the ball in position, please? All right. Ready. It's ready. Okay, and now we'll try a kick. Nope. <laughs> and we'll try a little kick now. Will you place the ball in position, please? Ready? Okay, and now we are ready for a kick. Here we go. Yeah! Frank Lentini and I just did it for kicks. In the early 1950s, the sideshow diminished in popularity, and Frank Lentini retired. But not before getting married and raising four children. He kept his childhood promise to his father right until his death at 77, never abandoning his mission to educate as well as entertain, treating his extra limb not as a curse, but as a gift. He was proud of his body and what he could tell other people. He was a great man. Coming up, a special added attraction. Just remember now, beauty is only skin deep.